Perhaps the reason that you're watching this video is because you're interested in becoming free from having anxiety or panic attacks. And somehow anxiety or panic is somehow present for you in your life and you want to move on. You want to return to a life which you can participate in more fully. And you might have been told like, well, just 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 take a deep breath <laughs> and that might have even given you more anxiety because you observe that you're you couldn't or it's hard to take a full breath in that the breath feels fast or shallow and you've probably also experienced that no matter how much advice you get on the the problem the anxiety is that you know how much advice you get to think you know say think differently about it doesn't seem to really help because it's wired in right and you need something different, you know, anxiety is still coming on. And you know also that you don't want a life of tranquilizers or beta blockers. You can change both right in this present moment and over the longer term by using conscious breathing, a simple daily practice of conscious breathing, you can rewire your brain and your nervous system to behave differently. And as you continue to watch, then let's practice a simple breathing pattern that will change your state immediately. And as we go on, I will continue to explain to you how this works and why this works. Breathing through your nose, you want to inhale to the count of four and exhale to the count of eight. Inhale to the count of four. And exhale to the count of eight. When you breathe in, if you place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your chest, you want to feel that your right hand moves up first. And then the breath moves into the left hand. On exhalations, you can feel what feels natural. Maybe the right hand comes in first, or maybe the left hand comes in first, whichever. So as you breathe in, you want to feel that your lower ribs are expanding out. You want to feel your lower ribs and your abdomen expanding out. Now, key here is notice that when you breathe in, is your belly pulling back? Is it pulling in as you inhale? So if it does, take note, become aware of that fact, because if your belly is pulling back as you inhale, then you may have some extra learning ahead that I will get into shortly, extra practice that you're going to want to do. You can imagine in this practice that you have a huge pear inside of your torso that's pushing down on an inhalation. And as the breath rises up, you can imagine that a cone opens up inside your lower ribs and then expands up to the chop inside of your chest. Then the pear and the cone work together and when they flow from the pear to the cone it should flow like a smooth wave from the bottom to the top and this is called the pear cone wave technique and i love it if this is making your inhalation easier then you can go further you can inhale to five and exhale to ten And you just keep going, whatever it is, inhaling to six, exhaling to 12, inhaling to seven, exhaling to 14. You're always making your exhalation double the length of your inhalation. Now, do you notice how immediately different that you feel through this practice? So there's several variations of conscious breathing that can stave off of a, uh, a panic attack and lower anxiety and your stress levels. Let's take a look at the mechanics 
of how this works so that you can find the right one for you and why you want to spend some extra time in practice if your navel is pulling back when you inhale. When you feel anxiety or stress, your nervous system is responding by getting you ready to either run from danger or fight an opponent and that, you know, in ancient times could be coming for your life or hopefully you're not living in an environment in today's times where that's true for you. Now, your nervous system is doing its job perfectly. It's adapted this response over millions of years to keep organisms alive. You know, so if the tiger was really coming for you and you feel the stress, then you run faster. And a few things happen when this response kicks in. The pupils dilate to let in more light so you see more clearly. The heart speeds up so that you will, you know, in case you need to run. And then the midsection tightens, you know, in case you need to get hit or in case you, in case you do get hit. And this is uh, to brace you for impact that this whole midsection tightens up and then the digestion slows down or stops. And the tightening of this midsection then moves the breathing up into the secondary muscles of breathing inside the neck and the shoulders and away from the primary muscle of respiration, which is the diaphragm. And of course, your breathing speeds up because your nervous system is anticipating that because you are going to be running or fighting that you're likely to have an increased energy needs and more CO2 that's generated from that. The problem is, is that we are often responding just to mentally created images which feel life-threatening, but they're in all likelihood not going to be. We don't actually need to be physically running or fighting. So when that stress response kicks in and you start to increase your breathing speed, then CO2 is exhaled out faster than your body is producing it. And when you have low CO2, that exacerbates all the other stress that you're experiencing. Plus, it makes it harder for your body to distribute oxygen. So what we did in exhaling twice as long as your inhalation is to preserve more CO2. And as CO2 rises, then your vascular system dilates to allow more blood flow, your heart rate slows down and your rest and digest function starts to kick in, moving you back into a more balanced state. Now, by breathing and imagining the pear and the cone, you are activating more use from your diaphragm in breathing and less of the secondary muscles in the neck and the shoulders. This is a more efficient way to breathe and it is wired up with the side of the nervous system that you need if you want to come out of panic and anxiety. So two lessons that come out of this for you is one is that you want to elongate the breath, particularly the inhalation and particularly the exhalation, right? Doubling the length of the exhalation. Two, is that you want to be using your diaphragm more than your neck and your shoulders. Now, if you have lived a portion of your life where you are, where you have lived in a state of stress, perhaps it's like a, some traumas that you've experienced in an earlier stage of life, or just a habitual pattern of breathing more quickly because of being in a chronic state of stress, then this becomes hardwired into the body and you may notice that as a consequence that the neck and the shoulders are more tight than they should be, than they you know, ideally are, and that the midsection has learned to pull back on an inhale instead of freely expanding and allowing the diaphragm to do its work to drop down. So if this is you, if you are noticing that your wired in habit is to pull the belly back when you inhale, then it may take a little bit more practice to overcome that, more consciousness, 
And a daily practice of just a few minutes a day where you're using, for example, the pear cone wave technique, breathing into the diaphragm and then breathing up into the chest or using your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your chest and making sure that your right hand expands out first and then your left hand expands secondly, that this can be a way that in time that you can start to really actually change a lot about your life and your perspective because your nervous system and your brain will start to change. Now, uh, the, these techniques which you can take with you, you know, that can help to change this for you, for example, the one-two technique, this inhale for a count of five and exhale for a count of 10, for example, breathing out the double the length of your inhalation is definitely gonna be something that you wanna keep in your toolkit because it's very easy and it's very quick. Another one I like very, very much is called the resonance frequency breathing, which is a gentle and potent method of breathing at a rate of five and a half breaths per minute, which shows clinically verifiable effects in lowering stress and increasing heart rate variability and stopping chronic inflammation. So if you'd like to learn more about these and other techniques, I've got a free course up on breathyoga.com. It's called the three must know breath techniques. And in that, when you sign up, I'll send you a breath lesson a day for three days and it's completely free. So go check that out if you would like to add more conscious breathing into your life. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you found this video useful, then if you would most kindly gently tap the like button as you inhale and tap the subscribe button as you exhale. And thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.